Hi everyone, this is Chelsea Robinson from Rodeo Realty, bringing you another segment of Getting Real in the SFB. As a certified relocation professional, I get the pleasure of working with people regularly from all sorts of places that are coming into the LA area and might not actually be in the LA area just yet. So if you're beginning your search from afar, let's discuss tips for relocating to a new area. I want to give you the disclosure that I strongly recommend the opportunity in living in your area first prior to buying. If a company will provide you a few months of relocation services, then by all means, take it and get a lay of the land. There's also nothing wrong with renting for six months to a year as well as you get settled to your new life and community. Some people will take a longer lease and pay the lease break fee if they find a home during that first year. If you're planning on doing something like this and not stay a full year, but all you can find is a one year lease, then make sure you read the verbiage on how the lease break would actually be honored. It's also really hard to make decisions without being in town. And so regardless on if you're buying a home or renting, off the bat, I strongly suggest that you make at least one trip into the new area to get a feel for the town. It's common for companies who are relocating their employees or new hires, a house hunting trip. So be sure to check into your options with your HR our relocation company that is managing your move. Regardless of what your housing ends up being, I think it's pretty obvious that the first step should be getting in touch with a professional like myself and beginning some internet research. A realtor can help you get an idea of the neighborhoods to target that are within your commutable time frame and budget. You might be able to also narrow down the list further once you do your internet research. Having these steps done prior to coming into town for your house hunting trip can help you narrow your search and allow you to really hyper focus on those preferred communities. And if it's just not that easy and you need to see more, that's okay too. A good realtor should be knowledgeable in your target communities and be able to help you give some rundowns so that you can feel like each neighborhood out and narrow them down further from there. If you are already familiar with your new location and you're feeling ready to buy a home right away, don't be afraid to use technology to find that right house. The perfect home might appear while you're not local, so don't be afraid to ask your realtor to preview the home on your behalf. If you and your realtor are very tech savvy, they just might be able to send you a video walkthrough of the tour or even real time Skype you in. And if you do buy a home while you're out of town, be prepared to jump on a plane during the inspection contingency. So be prepared for those costs. It will be important that you come in and feel it out in person at some point in the process. And you'll likely wanna do that while your inspection contingency is in place for your due diligence checks. If you have any questions about buying or selling a home in the San Fernando Valley, or if you want more information, please feel free to reach out. My contact information is below. My website, chelsearobinsonrealestate.com, is updated in real time with all the listings hitting the San Fernando Valley and other parts of Los Angeles. Stay tuned for another episode of Getting Real in the SFB, a video series full of tips, tricks, and trends for life in the San Fernando Valley.